Welcome back! We're about to jump over the side! Back to the butt shop. I almost forgot. Oh, wait, yeah, we need to learn about sphere grids now. Oh, no! Oh, tutorial? I don't like this one. Can you skip it? Nope. That's why I don't like it. Use the cursor to move around. Information or upgrades at the top. This location is for defense. It literally tells you what you need to know when you're, like, trying to use it. These upgraded locations are called nodes. They are activated by... In nodes, nodes. Let's go through this step by step. No. Let's not skip this at all. Press it. No. Then you move the cursor. The commands can appear, no. and then you can select move, and then you can go oh. wee. And then your sphere level is the number of spaces. Okay, basically the sphere level is the number of spaces you can move. You move to the nodes. You can only activate nodes that are adjacent to the node you're on. Um, you so you can move three spaces and activate those nodes. But she's only going to move one right now because she's silly, and she's a tutorial. Uh, she's going to activate the node for cheer, so like Titus is going to learn how to cheer, and it's an ability that lets you increase the attack. I think it's attack, or it might be defense. Isn't think cheer, cheer like one of the better abilities? Yeah, cheer's amazing. And you get it right at the start. <laughs> you get it right at the beginning of the game. Um, I think it is, a, is it attack. I think it's attack. <sighs> I hate these ones that you can't skip though. Yeah, because like most of the people that play this nowadays have played it previously and they know how this works. Yeah, but. There are people playing this for the first time, Mark. Yeah, I'm but seeing people just, talking just, about these games on Twitter and stuff, and this is the first time they're ever yeah, playing them. But that doesn't take away from the fact you should be given the option to skip these ones. Well, maybe. Because you don't have to skip them. But... So you'll notice the wee level 1 and level 3 and level 2 at the bottom of the screen there. Um, those are locked nodes. Uh, you can't get through them without uh, key spheres. And that's the difference between this uh, grid and the advanced grid. Advanced Grid has fewer locks at the start, mm -hmm. um, and it allows you to cross paths to other people's nodes, other people's grids, yeah, um, other characters' grids, because they all start from different locations. Uh, and on this grid, they all start massively different between... So this question mark girl, she starts further away from uh, Titus. She's actually one of the closer ones to Titus, to be honest. Um, but the other characters that we'll meet later in the game, they're much further away. And you, when you zoom out, you can see the size of the grid. Well, she's not actually that close. She's way down the bottom. Yeah, right? it's not too too far when you actually see how, how many think, nodes it the is. The thing but... is, as well, like, I Yay! forgot exactly what I was going to say. I forgot everything that I was going to say there. Let's jump. Found some ancient ruins right beneath us. Okay. It's not active now, but there should still be some power left. Okay. We're going to go down there and activate it. Sure thing, and question mark girl. Salvage the big prize. Well, hey. Uh -huh. Well, hey, hey. <laughs> I don't know, you look a bit young to be salvaging any prizes. Roger Wilco when he does this slow motion turnaround thing and like definitely I mean, didn't break why, his ankle. Why trust him to go in first? Because if they trusted him to go in last, he probably would run away. He should go in in the middle then. Nah, those aren't, that's not an option, Mark. It's got to be first or last. Let's go back to the ship. Nah, I'm looking. Why would you even want to go back to the ship? Is there so not a primer on there? Let's... I think you got it. I got it on the ship. Yeah, we got it last episode. So yeah, you actually still have to do this. The tutorial teaches you how to do it, and you still have to do it. Yay! Cheer! Cheers. And you, then you can press triangle and see all your skills and abilities. Oh, look, you've got cheer. I've got cheer. Cheers, guys. Return to main menu, sure. Amazing. Oh, amazing. This game's amazing. Even the graphic, even the graphics, even the water's HD. Mm. HD. What? What do you mean? Mm? The water's not... It's HD water. The most impressive thing. It's not the most impressive thing, but it still looks amazing. This was made in a while ago. <laughs> I love that. Uh, this was made in. Uh, was it 2000? This came out. Uh, I will Google it for <laughs> you right <laughs> now. Whilst you're fighting <laughs> these piranhas. Die piranhas. Love it. I got a 4.7 out of 5. And it came out in 2001. 2001, that was close. In July? July. Imagine that game coming out in July. <laughs> Imagine that. Oh, look at this place. Nothing ever happens in July, dude. No. Not even summer in this country. Oh, look, a safe sphere. We've not come across them in, like, at least three seconds. Yes. This is the only time you can ever use this one, Mark. Don't, don't. Don't deny me the right to use this safe sphere. I deny you the right to use it's that It's the safe only sphere. time we'll ever have to spend together. You're just going to light a candle and take yeah, it to... Yeah, get it central. I'm going to light a candle underwater, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bash this screen, that's what I'm going to do. Bash, bash! 
No, if this was Spongebob, Bash. you could light a candle underwater. Can they do that? Yeah, they I can like do a lot of things screened. that they can't do. They can do a lot of things that we can't do? No, they can do a lot of things that they shouldn't be able should to do. do. Like, I'm sure there's underwater fires, like buildings go on fire underwater and all Shit. sorts. Uh, what's down here? There's nothing. I could have told you that. Yeah, I, I do actually already know that. I don't know why I'm, I don't know why I'm exploring. <laughs> Oh, I wonder what's through here, Mark. Oh, look. She's pointing up the way. What's up the way, Mark? Um, X marks up, a spot. Up things. Up things. Uh oh. Do you know it's what? Pity Piranhas. You know how you said they were all holding their breath during the. Yeah. The jet battles? Why don't you just stay on the screen forever and I'm see no if they. Uh, yeah, I know. Like. Oh shit, that was super on. I should have killed one! So I think these guys have. Uh, I thought they had about 150. I think they've got 150 HP, hmm. and the wee, wee guys that are on their own have 100 HP. So like, Tidus can kill them with one hit, but uh, Question Mark Girl can't because she's weak. Weak sauce. Is she always that weak? She's pretty weak for most of the game. Yes. Ouch. Yeah. She sucks. That's why she gets the usability because like she's the only one that can do that. What's this do? It's another thing I'm going to punch. Punch it, Chewie! Why punch something underwater? Just put me in slow motion. Yeah. So, yeah, the underwater section of the game do call into question the whole being able to hold your breath thing because you can spend a long time underwater and mm. you would be like, okay, you, you'd have died by now. And the battles... Okay, even if you take a, don't take into account the fact you could stay on that screen forever. Mm-hmm. Like, just the actual fact of them coming down here and, um, like, exploring this and all this stuff and, like, fighting the monsters and moving on and things, like, that would take ages. Oh, shit, Mark! <laughs> it's a thing! It's a noctid show. Let's steal! This will be useful! A grenado! Grenada. Yes. Attack! See how shit she is? She has Oh, shit. not tentacles! Oh, ah. you got slapped. Boom. Oh, he got cut. I'm going to use grenade. I should just steal. Do, do, do. I don't think you can steal more than once. Can you? Uh-oh, where's he going? He's had enough of our shape. Oh, he's doing uh -oh. you a bedazzle. Uh-oh, what's this? He's doing you a uh, frightening. attack range. We can't get him, Mark. What are we going to do? Trigger commands? Special commands become available in certain battles. Press left in the command window to access them. <gasps> oh! Oh, stand by, eh? Why can't you defend in this game? I don't understand that. He's doing you Let's cheer! Oh, strength and defense! I was right! Did you... Did you say that? I said that he raised attack or defense. Ah. So I was right twice. I'm amazing. But not at the so same I time. To, I have to stand by. God damn it. Oh, she I gets am. health back! Stand by does give you health back. That's, true. That's pretty handy. Cheer! Does that stack? What, cheer? Yeah, it sucks. Six times, I think? Seriously? Nautilus charge! Oh, he's a bit naughty, isn't he? But now he's facing the wrong way. It's Tross. Oh, it's get him Tross. in the butt. I'm, I'm gonna get him in the butt. Don't you worry. Slice. If he has a butt. But now he's gonna go away again. Oh no, he's gonna tentacle first. Of course he tentacles the wee girl. Uh, I don't think still works again. I'll try it. Couldn't steal anything. I think there's but a... Does it not say there's nothing to seal if there's nothing to I steal? think there's a... I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, I think there's a... Maybe I should use a potion. Uh-oh, he's going away again! What are we going to do this time, Mark? Probably the same thing you did every night. Nope. Try to take over the world. Yep. Oh, this time? Oh, wait, it is this. Fuck. Is it Titus that comes up with the idea? What's the idea? Uh, you'll see in a minute. What's the big idea? Oh, there it is. Pincer attack! Titus has a great idea. You go that way. Mm -hmm. And I'll go this and way. And I'll go this way. Oh, brilliant. And now... He can't do that naughty not, not, not charge. Now he's going to tentacle the wee girl again, though. Shit. She's not exactly a wee girl, is she? She's 15. Is she actually? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> Square Enix don't know how to draw 15 year olds. No, they, they, they don't. They don't want to draw They would draw 15 year olds the way they want them to be. <laughs> but it's not how they actually are. Tyrus is 17. What? <laughs> Yeah, they, they don't know how seem, to draw seventeen-year-olds either. They always seem really old, don't they? Yeah. Da, 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 da. I just said they were both just visually, and they're probably in their early twenties. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, think seventeen's not that far away. Lulu's twenty-seven. 
Yeah, Whack I can believe that. I can and believe. Um, Whack is something like 10. 28, and I think we, uh, Kamari's 34 or something like that. Well, I mean, we're not going to be able to judge Kamari's age. He's like And Oren's 40-odds. Oh, you just read all the characters' names? I sure did. <laughs> but, um... Except for um, you know, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't ruin Yuna's name. <laughs> <laughs> um, for fuck's sake, Dave. <laughs> um, did I ruin? I didn't ruin Crash Mart Girl's name. But um, did you not? I don't think so. Are you sure you I'm didn't? Pretty say, sure I didn't see her name. Uh, did, did you not just say that Riku looks a bit fifteen? Ah, you just said it. You just said it. I don't think I did. But well, um, I get to ruin someone's name if okay. you get to ruin the rest okay, of them. That's, that's fair. Um, I'm not going to sit here being the only one not to ruin a name. Yeah. Okay. The so, music? No, seriously. The um, the music in this I always sounded kind of Viking-y, I thought. Well, it is underwater, and Vikings do spend a lot of time in water. Is that right, eh? Well, in or around. How, how many Vikings do you know, Mark? One. Which one? One. Which one? A Vikingy person. A Vikingy person! Oh, look, the lights just came on. Well, whose bright idea was that? Um, everyone's. We really need to save on the electricity bill, and that's not the way you do it. I know. Well, this was before electricity bills. This was before electricity. Yeah. The, the, all these lights are powered by happy magic. thoughts. And spheres. Everything's powered by spheres. <laughs> it's pure magic, dee, by the way. Dee. Now we have to go down further, Mark. wonder what we'll find down here. Hmm. wonder what this is, Mark. Is it a fancy-shaped rock? It, it is looks, a fancy it looks, rock. It looks kind of rocky. Why is it, Mark? Mm. <coughs> Are you mm. actually going the opposite way than you're supposed no, to? No, we're supposed to go to the red, wee red marker. We're supposed to go out and see what the the rock looks like, and then it'll zoom out and be like, "This is a rock." This is the rock. This is definitely a rock. So, like the first few times I played this, I had absolutely no idea what that was. Is it going to people's elbow? You? you might. Do you know what it is? It's a giant rock. It is a giant rock. Where is it? It's an airship. Oh, you ruined it! You didn't. Oh, I didn't want you to see it. Oh, you actually ruined it. Well, I, I'll edit that out. You ruined I, it. Just, I actually didn't know it was an airship. I just seriously. Yeah, I just assumed. Oh, man. So well, you ruined it. No, you ruined it. You made me I guessed. ruin it. Why would you guess? Why would you guess? Oh. You said, "What do you think what it is?" I didn't say, "What do you think it is?" I was like, "Oh, what is it?" I didn't expect you to answer me. Well, don't ask me a question. <laughs> God damn it! It was a, it was a, it was a hyperbolic question. A hyperbolic time chamber? You mean, uh, what's the word? Ah, I know. I, I, oh, well, there you go. So even though he says Rhetorical. it there, I still didn't know that's what it was. Rhetorical. Rhetorical. He even says um, the word airship, so... I know. And the same, it's the same in Albed as it is in English. So I don't think you can really blame yourself or me anymore. Ah, uh, what? Don't call me a traitor. Apparently I'm a dog that sleeps out on the deck. God damn it. Traitors just like thanks, friend. In thanks. that language. Uh, hungry. hungry. Gurgle. Gurgle. Uh, Ow. Oh. oh, look, it's a trader. How unappetizing does that look? Whoa, it's like. He had not to him. It's like mince it with peas in it, and he's just going to eat it with his hand. And like well, they mashed potatoes. Didn't give him a fork or a knife or anything? They didn't. And now he's about to kill himself. <laughs> Shit! It tastes like ass! Give me this! Let's see where. And it, I, it's just, it's like. <sighs> it's whiskey. The strongest vo vodka or something, yeah. It's because you eat too fast. It's because you're a moron. You are baby. <laughs> Dumb baby, eat fast. It is kind of weird. This scene, a lot. There's a lot of scenes. Hello there. What is your name? Well, hello yeah. there. Riku. Whoa. You really can. Talk. That's my name too. You're a real boy. Oh, that's my name too. <laughs> wait, wait. I'm Tedious. Tedious. Wait a minute. If you're a Riku, you then so who am I? Yeah. <laughs> We? Uh, we? Oh, we means you. We means you. Also means yes. Um, yeah, in French. I thought yes was a theme. Anyway? 
Anyway. In the butt patrol. The butt patrol. How how could I tell what? Wait, you're not an Albed hater, are you? I don't know what an Albed is. An yes, I'd want to get an Albed with you, but you're 15. So I won't. I'm a Blitzball player. Six. Star player of the Zenikin Abes. Star player. The one thing that I wish you could do in this game that you can't is Did play as them. Play as the Zenikin Abes. That would be awesome. Um, you guys hit me. Oh. You guys hit him. Do you remember anything before that? Uh no. But see what's really interesting about um don't you see the J on his back? What's really interesting uh, about Tidus is the B X on his back. You'll see it at some point. Sanarkin. About life there, Blitzball, and Sin's, Sin's attack. attack. Sorry, and about how Aaron and I were engulfed in this light. I just said things as they came to mind. This was and another wonder wonderful wonder. thing for me was having played Final Fantasy IX as my first Final Fantasy, this having voice acting was like a nine massive... Nine was your first Final Fantasy? Yeah. Say something funny? I played 9, 6, and 10. They were, they were my first three. I think I played 7... either 7, 8, and 6, or 7, 6, and 8 first. And what was interesting about 6 was I played a version of 6 that had a demo for 10 on it. Hmm. So... See, I remember that one actually. I see, think. when I was sitting waiting for my friend to bring over his memory card, I actually just sat and played the demo over and over again. Nice. I think I played it a few times before I put in the real game and just played it. But if you build up the excitement, you're probably going to enjoy it more. Oh so. man, like the first time I played Final Fantasy X was the most fun I've ever had. And um, do you remember the first time I played Final Fantasy X and didn't finish it? Yeah, and then the second time I well, played it, and neither did I because it, my save file was overwritten. <laughs> yeah, but so they had a reason. The first time I finished the game was the second time I played it. I, I follow. Um, I get that syndrome where if you get to the very end of a game and someone tells you you're at the end of it, you don't finish it. Yeah, Dragon Age. Final Dragon Fantasy Age. Ten. Well, speaking of it being at the end of things, uh, that's the end of this episode. So join us next time for some more Final Fantasy Ten action and some reminiscing with the best game in the world. Yeah.